In post set, next I will discuss hash diagram. Relations you can represent in two way, one is zero one matrix, another is diagraph. Hash diagram is a special type of diagraph. I will explain hash diagram through an example. First example, consider the directed graph for the parcel ordering A, B such that A less than equals to B on the set 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have four elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and relation is A should be less than or equals to B. 1 is less than 2, 1 is less than 3, 1 is less than 4, 1 equals to 1. So there will be A's from 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3 and 1 to 4. Next 2 is related to 2 as 2 equals to 2, 2 is less than 3, 2 is less than 4. So there will be A's from 2 to 2, 2 to 3 and 2 to 4. Just mark the direction. Direction is from 2 to 4, not from 4 to 2. 2 is less than 4, not 4 is less than 2. Right? So directions are always upward. Next, 3 is related to 3 and 3 is related to 4. 3 equals to 3, 3 less than 4. So there will be edge from 3 to 3 and 3 to 4. Next, 4 equals to 4. So there will be self flow from 4 to 4. So this is our diagraph if you will see this diagraph is little messy one relation will be partial order if it is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive reflexive means the self loop here we can see in diagraph when one element is related to itself it's called as reflexive so it's partial order means it should be reflexive this self loop are so obvious what we can do we can remove this self loop after removal of this self loop, we will get figure B. So this figure B is without the self loop. Because this relation is partial order, it is reflexive and its director graph has loop in all the vertices due to reflexive. So we don't need to show these loops, we can remove these loops. So after removal of loop, we will get figure B and it is partial order, hence it is transitive. 1 is related to 2, 2 is related to 3, hence 1 must be related to 3. So this 1 to 3 edge is so obvious. Even 2 is related to 3, 3 is related to 4, so 2 must be related to 4. 1 is related to 3, 3 is related to 4, so 1 must be related to 4. Hence what we can do, we can also remove these transitive edges. As you know, these transitive edges are so obvious. So you can remove 1 to 3, 2 to 4 and 1 to 4. After removal of these edges, we will get this final diagraph. And all the direction are upward. So we know all direction are upward. We don't need to show the direction. We can remove the arrow also. So after removal, this is the our final diagraph and it's called as Hess diagram after the name of German mathematician Helmut Hess. He developed this Hess diagram. And if you see, this looks like a chain. It's a special type of partial order called as total order or linear order or chain. When every two elements of a set are comparable, we call as total order or linear order or chain here you mark every two elements are comparable one is less than two one is less than four two is less than four one is less than three just pick any two element they are comparable by this less than equals to relation hence this is a chain the structure is also looks like a chain let S be a post set. We say that an element Y belongs to S cover an element X belongs to S. If X less than Y and there are no such element Z such that Z comes between X and Y. Here you can say 2 covers 1. There are no element between 2 and 1. 3 covers 2. So this 2, 3 pair belongs to covering relation. We can also create directly the hash diagram just we need to mark the covering like 2 cover 1, 3 covers 2, 4 covers 3. So we can create directly like 1, 2, 3, 4. Now 2 is greater than 1, we can say 1 is less than 2. 
then one is also less than three but as two less than three so there will be s from two to three not one to three then three is less than four so there will be s from three to four not two to four or one to four as three already covers two two already covers one now four covers three so you can say this set of pair x y so that y cover x called as covering relation of s Let's see another example. Example twelve. Draw the hash diagram representing the partial order A B such that A divides B on one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve. So first, what we'll do? We'll write these elements. So each individual element will be vertex. One, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve. I'm just writing randomly. Now every numbers divide itself, so there will be self loop at every vertex. Next one divides every number, so there will be s from one to two, one to three, one to four, one to six, one to eight, and one to twelve. Next two divides four, two divides six, two divides eight, two divides twelve. Next three divides six. Three divides twelve. Next four divides eight. Four divides twelve. Then six divides twelve. So this is the diagram for this division relation. If you see this diagram is so messy, you cannot understand from this diagram. We are doing the diagram to better understand of the relation, but this is so messy. So what we'll do next? We'll remove all the reflexive, all the self loop. As it is partial order, so this self loop are obvious. So next we'll remove all the self loop. After removal of self loop, next we'll remove all the transitive edges. Like one is related to two, two is related to four. So we'll remove the edge one to four. One is related to three, three is related to six. So we'll remove the edge one to six. So after removal of transitive edges like one four, one six, one eight, one twelve, two eight, two twelve, and three twelve, we'll get this final hash diagram. So here two three covers one, four six covers two, six covers three, eight twelve covers four, twelve covers six. You can also create this hash diagram directly. Like take the vertex one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve. One is divisible by two. One is divisible by three. Next, two is divisible by four. There will be no edge from four to one as four cover two. Okay, so will not add the transitive edges. Then two is divisible by six. Three is divisible by six. Four is divisible by eight. Four is divisible by twelve. Six is divisible by twelve. So this is our hash diagram. Let's see another example. Example thirteen. Draw the hash diagram for the partial ordering A B such that A subset of B and the power set P of S where S equals to A B C. So the power set will contain phi as phi is subset of every other set. Then A B C. Then A B A C B C, then A B C. It contains three elements, so two power three eight sets. Now phi is subset of A, phi is subset of B, phi is subset of C. Phi is also subset of A B, but A is also subset of A B. So we will not add A from phi to A B, as we are doing by the level. And A cover phi, B cover phi, C cover phi. There are no intermediate. Now A subset of A B. So A B cover A. There are no intermediate between this A B and A. Then A subset of A C, B subset of B C and A B, C subset of A C and B C. Next A B subset of A B C, A C subset of A B C, B C subset of A B C. So this is our final hash diagram. We did directly without the diagram, without removal of the self loop, transitive edges, and the arrow. Creation of hash diagram is easy. Just to according to covering, do level by level. It's easy, 
else if you are confused you can do by steps means do the diagram then remove the self loop transitive edges and arrow you'll get the hash diagram in next lecture i'll explain maximal and minimal elements if today lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you